Good evening folks, Boda Bob here with Boda Tip number one. And it has to do with our um, hitch pins and the retainer. If you're into tractors, firewood, four wheelers, you're going to deal with hitch pins. And if you were the guy that always fumbled the ball and then you couldn't pick it up, because you couldn't see it, you couldn't find it. I've got a solution for you. Throw away your old hitch pin and get yourself a master lock 5 8 inch stainless steel pivot lock hitch pin. Hey, I got this from the Big A and uh, it's not my first one. I have one there on that. I have one down here. So let me grab a pair of pliers and uh, remove this from its packaging. So what we have here is a hitch pin that has a built-in locking mechanism so your pin doesn't fall out. And to use it, you simply pull it out and rotate it 90 degrees and it'll rotate in either direction from the uh, pin here and uh, you don't have to worry about losing the uh, clip that holds your lynch pin in I'm sorry your hitch pin so that's it so if you were uh, interested in something like that, it costs about 15 bucks at the Big A. Yeah, they're a little expensive, but I think it's well worth it when you don't have to sit around. My time's worth a lot to me, and it takes me a long time to do a lot of things these days. So uh, bending down, trying to find uh, a uh, pin that fell down in the grass or in the sawdust in the wood yard uh, it can be a real pain. It can be a real hassle. So. If you're uh, interested in them, you know, just go over, buy one, see, check it out, see how you like it. Now, there's another one that um, it works a little different. I really recommend this Master Lock one. Um, I learned about something similar to this when I purchased my Wolf Ridge 28 Pro log splitter. And it came with a similar... Re, uh, clip retaining you didn't but um, it kind of uh, it, it was weird but anyhow I left it in the uh, hole with the uh, bar and I didn't lock it and what happened when the engine was running it it vibrated inside the two inch housing and then it rotated and I couldn't remove the pin from the bar so I had to take my angle grinder cut the pin in half and then I was able to pull the bar the um, uh, whatever you call it the, the thing that goes in here the stinger whatever you call it anyhow um, I was able to pull that out and shake it out and you know so there's that so um, yeah, if you get one of those like they uh, sell with the uh, Wolf Ridge, um, always lock it when it's in place. I know there was another YouTuber that had the same problem, and uh, they experienced the, the same issue that I did. Is um, It vibrated, and when it got inside the 2-inch um, tube, the uh, locking mechanism rotated, and then they uh, couldn't push it back through and couldn't pull it out. So be aware of that. And you know, you might want to do the same thing with this. It's so easy to do. Um, just go ahead and flip it. The problem I had on that is you got to reach under the uh, table. And you know, with my big belly, it's not easy to get under that table. So um, I would leave it and I got in trouble. So without any more motor mouthing, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe, share this video with a friend. And until next time, enjoy the journey. Cheers. Stop record.